Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Conversations with Coaches podcast. It's me, again, Kevin, and I am blessed to be able to bring you J.D. Kindred again. We talked very, it feels like it was just yesterday. Very recently, we had a great conversation, and I told her, I promised her I'd reach back out because I wanted to talk to her again, and she was like, yeah, sure, and then sure enough, I was in her inbox, you know, or like for like first couple of days of 2023 saying, hey, like, you should come back on. We should talk again. So she's back. You probably remember JD, but I'm going to refresh your memory anyway, just in case. JD is a Canadian born author, entrepreneur, world traveler, and intuition coach. JD's book, Intuitive Business Connections, is all about growing a business from zero to six figures in an intuitive way. She is passionate about helping other entrepreneurs and business professionals live more intuitively and authentically and have a balanced, joyful life. JD, it's great to talk to you again so soon. It can never be, it can never be too soon. I'm so grateful you decided to come back on and chat with me again. Thank you. Yes, you're definitely a man of your word. You messaged me, you know, first week of, of 2023, and I'm just so grateful to be back. Well, it's so great to have you. And it is 2023. I'm still like, I'm 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 fully into 2023. It has been a wild, wild introduction to this to this year in the best way with lots of stuff happening. And I feel like I feel like I'm encountering that with everyone I talk to. Everyone's got got stuff moving forward and things are taking off and flying forward and going all the right directions. So I want to start out by talking to you about the start of your 2023, how 2022 closed out for you, what's happening now, what's kind of got the forward momentum in your in your coaching practice talk to me about about how it's been so far wow I love this topic you know I ended 2022 in a seven day silent meditation retreat and I actually write about this in my book it being the most profitable uh, week of my of the year and during COVID I, I took a couple of years off and then I was back and wow, it brought me back into my heart so quickly. And when I'm in this heart center, I was able to really visualize and imagine. And I had, again, all this time and space that I, that I speak of so much, like listen to your whisper, create time and space for that. Well, I actually did that. And just the downloads of information and ideas, like it was just, it was it was beautiful to experience and feel. And then I took that energy and the things I would visualize it and, you know, imagine during this, this meditation retreat, we're in beginning of 2023, we're actually physically manifesting in front of my eyes, like things I thought were impossible. And it's like, wow, I just, I just can't believe I always underestimate the power of, of silence and meditation and going within. And so, yeah, I, my 2023 has been just speeding up. I feel like everyone else is in just intense manifestation and growth and change. And yeah, this should be a really fun year. I love, I love, love, love. Cause I, I don't think it's, it's funny. I'm going to say this is going to sound terrible. I don't think silence gets enough noise. <laughs> people yes. aren't talking enough about the importance of silence and it's no. like it's, it's harder i mean i know it's it's probably I, I would say it's always been a challenge to make space for silence and hold mm -hmm. moments in stillness it feels especially challenging to me more and more these days there's because there's so many demands on your attention some of them very good demands demands i want like attractions i want to be pulled towards and moving towards and engaging with and it's just it's such an important practice and i want to emphasize that word a practice because it really does take work and practice to to get good at to get to get good at moving into silences where you are at rest at stillness because i don't i feel like there's we just we miss a whole element of our being by ignoring that and it's just it's one of those things where I've, it's like one of those things as you're considering it you're like ah, i'll make time for that later it's very easy to put off something like that but when I, lo I love that you have it as a just a part of your core being where it's like i do this on a regular basis because i have experienced the results which are both long term and immediate it's amazing the things that move in to your life and manifest themselves as a direct result of holding that space and being in silence for a time. You know, this is one of my favorite topics, meditation, because I'm not, it doesn't come easily. Like, yes, I, I started this 
meditation journey 12 years ago. It has completely changed my life. I am a completely different person because of it. And I still need that accountability like everyone. So I purposely uh, needed to kind of reset this, this meditation habit back into my life. So I went to a conscious community in Costa Rica and where they have a strong foundation of you know, it's a foundation for their community is this meditation. So every morning at 5 a.m. and 5 p.m., a group of us, maybe depend people, you know, it wasn't mandatory. You could come to where you want, but there was maybe eight of us every 5 a.m., 5 p.m. that would sit together for an hour. And I became just so grounded. I became super hyper efficient because I had kind of these two times in my day that I needed to fit. You know, I really held those and I had to be on time because there are other people there. I can't, I don't want to disturb anyone else. If, I, if I'm by myself, okay, I can be five minutes late, 10 minutes. But no, when you're with other people meditating, it for me, it helped bring my meditation to a next level. And I talked to, you know, through my, with my clients, I talk about this one idea that I read somewhere. I don't uh, know who said it. it. It's not my quote, but the, what I love is the idea that 100% commitment is way easier than 98% commitment. Mm. Because this is 2% doubt that gets you. So here I'm back, I'm out of that community and I'm like, okay, 2% doubt sometimes. Sometimes, you know, if I'm invited to a supper with friends, I might go instead of sit in silence. But there mm. I was, it was non-negotiable. I wake up even on New Year's. I went to bed later than I normally do. And I was the only one in the med meditation hall, but I committed to that. It was a non-negotiable for me. And so having that practice and, and help and having a, like groups to meditate with for me makes it much easier. And so I'm really excited. You know, I wanted to talk about my new thing for 2023, because one of the things I spoke about last time was like, oh, you're asking, oh, what are your goals? What are your goals? And I was like, well, one of my goals is to you know, hold retreats at my home. And you're like, oh. but I didn't have that. What did that look like? How did that, well, like, I didn't, it was just a dream, but I actually have that concretely. I, I have a website. I have, well, I naturally on my website, but I found a, a retreat booking website that manages this, that advertises this. I have all the pictures, all the prices. I have the schedule detailed because I was just like, wow, you know, my life, I kind of say like, my life is a retreat. Like I wake up at five, I meditate, I do yoga. I have a nice smoothie. I go, you know, coaching, I'll go swim. I'll be outside every, I'll go hike in the forest every day. And then at night I'll do, you know, I'll go to a curtain chanting or I'll go dancing or I'll go authentic relating. Like, it's just like, these are all just the funnest things for me. And it's like, I can invite people into my home, which is my dream home. It's a lakefront property in Quebec, Canada. And invite people and just share in this day of coaching everyday live with me. Also connecting with, you know, because there's many ways people connect. I So I launched this and within the first week, I've had inquiry. Like I didn't think I would get inquiries right now. Like after it being live for a week, I thought, okay, maybe in a couple months, people will start to look for, for summer retreats, but no, there's people right now who are like flying in from other parts of Canada who are in Montreal, like all over. And, and they, they're just like looking for, you know, yoga and they're looking for having more inner, inner guidance. And it's like, well, there's many ways to get that. It's like, Okay, we can sit. You might get that through meditation. You might receive that while in yoga. You may receive that in nature. You may receive that through a coaching one to one session with me. Like there's infinite ways to receive answers. And so I want to provide these retreats where people can come together with other like minded individuals and we just share and talk and grow and have time to heal. Or if people want to say, like, it, it could be a retreat or it could be someone who wants to book for a month or two months and yeah. really, really change, you know, their, mm. their nervous system and really change that their habit patterns or the way they work. You know, I work online and, and it's just a really peaceful place. Like for writers, authors who want a, a safe place to write um, with, mm. you know, hearing the river in the background. And, 
Mm -hmm. don't know. I'm just super, that was like my new thing since I've spoken to you last. And I'm super excited about the summer and bringing community to me now because I've been traveling Costa Rica, visiting communities, visiting communities, seeing what I like, seeing what I don't like, and then going, okay, what is my ultimate dream utopia? <laughs> and, mm -hmm in creating that at my home and inviting people to me. So I'm offering that this July, August, September. Mm. And, you know, I have early bird, you know, when, you know, I have some early bird rates for the next couple weeks. So it's like, I really encourage you to go on my website and click on the retreats button and you'll have automatic access to just, uh, yeah, reserving, a, reserving a date because yeah, I, I'm only, I can only, have a few people per week in my home. So I'm really excited about that new project for 2023. I love how perfect of an expression of you it is. And it's, even as you were talking before, it was like, you're talking about that difference between 98% and hundred percent and how hungry people are for mm -hmm. circumstances in which they can be all in and mm -hmm. get that 100% not just for the experience themselves, but also for the accountability of it. Like you were talking about where it's like, when you're all the way in, there's this commitment, there's this decision already made. This is full and complete buy-in. And that gives you the freedom to really explore whatever it is you're looking to explore, whether it's silence or space or your own creativity, whether you're working on a book. I know obviously writers love that particular kind of commitment mm -hmm. because it does hold it holds them to the page it holds them to the work but there's so many different reasons for it so many different ways to pursue it and i i'm personally not surprised that you got immediate interest because i do feel like people are very hungry for circumstances that allow them to commit in that way and hold them accountable in that way because i think more and more people are they've learned how to value what that unlocks in their life yes yeah. And then, you know, I also, this is an into, I'm kind of marketing it as an intuition retreat as well. So yeah. yes, it's the accountability, but it's also about following your flow. You know, I, I trust adults can make their own decisions. And if one morning they don't want to be there at, at meditation, then that's okay as well. It's about like self-love and compassion. So I, it's not like a strict schedule, but it's, I have the schedule out because this is my schedule that I live. And I want to be able to invite people into that as well, because, you know, I, I, I still love projects and I manage things and I can accomplish everything and include a lot of like maybe extra self-care than a lot of people offer themselves. So yeah, I just want either for it to be a retreat or a safe place to work and yeah. be coached or, you know, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Every week will yeah. be different. That's and every <laughs> energy, every guest will be different. The energy every week will be different. So even if someone wants to stay for a month, like every week will be just so unique. And I'm just excited to bring community back into my home. It really is. It's, it's, it's exciting. I'm almost, I'm getting like a contact high just thinking about it because talking about this kind of group dynamic and how it's such a living thing. Like it's it's yeah. it's different and unique. Each each iteration, each person added, each person gone as it as it changes and grows. It's just it's amazing. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm getting excited even though I'm not going to be there. I'm just like, oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> and I was thinking this really funny. I was having a conversation earlier, sort of adjacent to an aspect of what you were saying or aspect of what we've been talking about. And it was in a different context. We were talking about how we are strict with certain certain things that we do for ourselves, like with you, with the with the meditation where you were like showing up and committing to holding this hour. And we were talking about our our commitment to healthy sleep and how that was a, an early foundation for us in in our all of our in our entire lives, personal and professional, and how we cut our caffeine off at a certain time and we always make sure that there's restful time blocked off at the end of the day so that we're always fresh and ready and and willing and able to engage in the day to come. And how that was th that strictness is something that allowed a kind of generosity in our lives. And mm -hmm. I, that's, I was I was thinking about this more after we talked. I was like how when you think of the term strict, there's you almost hear restrict, restrictive, you hear limitations. I I hear and I feel and I respond to the openness and generosity and the possibility of what certain very carefully considered strictness in my own life allows not only for me, but allows for the people I share my life with. The way it allows me to, to behave and show up for them and give them opportunities and spaces to move into and out of as they see fit. And I, I'm still 
kind of noodling on that and thinking about our our usage of those kinds of things and the way that really these structures they don't limit us they open us up to new possibilities in certain ways and so i'm i just kind of wanted to share that thought with you because as you were speaking it really like was resonating with me in that particular way yeah and again like there's this quote i don't know it's, it's yeah there's this quote that talks about how discipline really creates freedom in your life mm. we don't mm. often have this idea that Oh, like, you know, people think discipline is so restrictive and all of this, but really the more discipline, it could be financially, like this dollar a day within 40 years, you become a millionaire. Like all of these, these books that talk about that, like it's yeah. really this discipline that is just creates this freedom uh, in the future. I couldn't agree more. I, I, I know I promised I would keep an eye on the clock and I just looked up and realized that you and I have been t- talking for a half an hour already. <laughs> and so I want to make sure that I respect your time. And I also want to make sure that you, we close this by reminding people about this new, this new, this new program you've got going on, this new, this new retreat, this opening of your home. And I want to make sure that you say, and I'm also going to put in the show notes exactly where to go on your website. You mentioned that there was a button on your website, lay that URL on us so that I, so that we can hear it. And so that I can type it into the show notes let everybody know where they can just get to know you, start talking with you, maybe start that conversation and maybe begin that first step on that commitment to to coming into your home and taking advantage of this opportunity. Say it, say it, say it all one more time for us. <laughs> yeah, well, again, my website is www.intuitivebusinessconnections.com and I'll you know send you the direct link for the retreat. But yeah, naturally I offer all of my coaching online, but now I thought, oh, for a couple months, it would be fun to be able to offer in-person coaching one-on-one as many you know you'd you'd have access uh, to my coaching all week so it's really unlimited coaching uh, for the week or two or however long you want to stay and um, yeah and again the best way to contact me is really through my website you can find me on linkedin you can find intuitive business connections on youtube which is growing and i'm gonna start putting more and more shorts so you really get a feel of my philosophies and my perceptions of being a young entrepreneur and or just you know you know digital nomad or work-life balance or all of the challenges of, of entrepreneurship so I'm I'm just gonna yeah start posting more and more on YouTube to really get a feel because you know we spoke about that last time yeah. and it's important to to resonate with your coach and resonate with you know the person you want to to be around so that's those are my strategies <laughs> I love it. I, I'm 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 always very excited about that. I feel like I'm more and more. I feel like this is such an opportunity to allow people to meet you before you've met them. Give them yeah. just like a, just, a, just a little bit of an experience of hey, I we uh, coaches all know this like in their bones that that fit is such an important aspect of the coaching relationship. And yeah. just having these having videos out there, it's it's just so much when you can see someone and you can hear their voice, their intonations, the way they express themselves. There's just something about it that gives you that you, you begin to almost like make friends with that person before you've even spoken a word or you've, you, before you've exchanged a word with them. And yeah. I, I love that. I mean, of course, I, of course I love that. It's just another opportunity to make connections, which are, you know, it's basically the, the, the reason, the reason for what I do. <laughs> being able to connect with people, especially like yourself, not to blow too much smoke up your butt, but it has once again, unsurprisingly been delightful to talk with you. And I'm really glad we got a chance to share this new opportunity with people. And I'll go ahead and let you know right now, I will probably be bothering you again sometime as the, as the spring and summer approach and just check in with you in like, you know, June or July or something like that. And let's talk again and see how things have been going and see where things are going. How's that sound? (laughs) <laughs> Please do. This is so fun. Yeah. And so many things with how quickly things are happening in 2023. Like I have no idea what will manifest by, you know, June. So that'll be super fun to continue our conversation. Can't wait. It's going to be exciting. Thank you for today. And thank you to the audience for listening. I All the links for everything we're talking about, they're going to be in the show notes. We'll have it up in our social feed as well. I'm sure JD will be talking all about it on LinkedIn and on her website and on YouTube. So you make sure to check those out and we here will get a chance to talk to you again real soon.